いただきます。We are starting our day up here, right, Ashley? Mm -hmm. It's cold, yes. We have a mess that we're gonna get cleaned up in here. It looks a lot worse than it probably is. I'll be fair with that, right? Yeah. Um, the fort is coming down. The teenagers have been hanging out up here more with spring break and the, you know, whatnot. So we're gonna take the fort down. But I also wanna ask a poll. I don't have have a way to do an actual poll so just leave a comment below are you a pro fort or a not pro fort <laughs> mom or dad or sibling some people don't like to have a fort but i'm curious whether you guys like to or not so we're just going to start our day cleaning up this area but i also wanted to show you kaylee's little terrarium area Nothing going. that was the balloons <laughs> behind me that was a strange noise um here is Kaylee's little terrarium area she got started there's a frog there is a frog in that one maybe you can take the camera closer Ashley and show them but she got some of the plants planted from her birthday but we're waiting on some charcoal to come and I actually think she's gonna have to replant the little house terrarium over there because it really does need to have some charcoal on the bottom of it. I want to make this area look a little bit nicer as we fill up this table with all the plants and whatnot. We actually need to open this window to get those terrariums the light that they need. Right, Ash? Oh, it's bright, I know. But they need that light. So let's get the, this area cleaned up. Okay, boo? Yeah. vacuum now. You can leave your desk there, Ashley, or we can scoot it over. Which one do you want? Do you want it left there? We should scoot it over a bit. Do you want to scoot it over just a little bit? Do no. you like it there? Okay. Is so, it done? So just, I just called Callie and we said I would call her back when we are done. So okay. Done yet? Well, you need to put away here. You need to put your hair stuff underneath your bed. Yes. Right? And put your little massager. Put that underneath your bed. We have laundry to take down. Each of you can take a basket down. Toys and unused crayons can go downstairs. One of them is making noise. Chelsea, here, while you go down, take a load. I can just put this in here. Take a laundry basket, either one. I'll take the lighter things. Then you can come back and help with something else. Now it's my turn to get ready. I've actually enjoyed my mornings when I do get ready. Yesterday I did get ready, but then just ended up spending the entire day Kaylee, taking Kaylee to an appointment and then looking for charcoal for her plants. <laughs> so when I got home, I just wanted to watch a movie. Have you guys seen The Friend? Oh, is it called The Friend? It's new, it just came out on Redbox, but it's about a, you know, a father who's, or a husband whose wife finds out she has cancer and it's just like so sad and so I got done with it and I was like mildly like sad and depressed for the rest of the evening but um anyway I'm gonna get ready really quick so I can be a little bit more presentable and we'll figure out what our day is it's actually nice and sunny today I think part of my sadness yesterday was also the weather it was like sideways rain and cold it was like 49 degrees and today hopefully it'll get up to like 60 again 65 which is nice when it's sunny much better my face is like back to having issues with like dry patchy skin 
Sorry, the kids are friends is still calling them and they're arguing about who gets to answer the call. Um, my skin is back to having issues with dry skin and I've got patches up here. You saw it when I didn't have makeup on. And I've got another one going on down here and I just don't know what to do except for go to Hawaii because it cleared up in Hawaii. I think that's my solution. I need to just be in good, natural, warm air, salty air. Maybe the salty air is what's helping my skin. But I hear my kids arguing. So my alone time is over. And I don't care about my bed being unmade because I don't ever come back up here. So let's go figure out why the grumpies. And laundry. Laundry, laundry. The playroom is clean though. It always makes it nice to walk back out here. But now I have that load of laundry and that load of laundry. You guys always like it when I make it real. This is my situation. And I literally do laundry every single day. But I have this. Garbage goes out. I have that load to finish folding. I hung it all last night, but I didn't fold the folded or match the socks. My kids don't know how to like look for something in my purse without completely taking it apart. So here's the mess here. We're just gonna walk through. The house was clean when I went to bed, just so you know. This is probably not any different than I left it. Tissue from someone this morning. And then this is the mess. <laughs> Abby, did you make cookies last night then? Yeah. Did they work out good? I just, I don't know, it's weird. There's dishes. Oh, looks like Chelsea needs to come down and unload. She's not in the right mood, but I can't fix that mess until she fixes this one. So this is my reality for the next half hour. in order to get out of just putting your clothes away puts perfectly clean hung up clothes or clothes that don't stay on the hanger just back into the hamper like I'm about to lose my mind she hasn't ever worn this shirt like ever ever <laughs> and yet I think I've washed it like a dozen times over the span of two years and she's never worn this and I think it's really cute, so I keep hanging on to it. They don't wear it. I don't know why. Oh gosh, I can't, fig I can't fix that. Anyway, and shorts. Never worn. It's not warm enough for the short weather. It's ridiculous. All right, you guys. I quickly did a laundry routine just now. I realized I had enough laundry and enough of a routine that I could show you guys. So, you're welcome in advance for the laundry routine that's coming up. I haven't done one in a long time and I don't do cleaning videos necessarily, but just decided, you know what? We have a lot of new subscribers here, 160 to be exact, 172 actually in the past like two months since we've come home from Hawaii. So welcome if you are new, feel free to comment because we love to interact with you. It helps me know what kind of content you like to see and you know our interactions with our kids and whatnot so but next up is dishes and you don't need to come with me on this journey to dishes and part of that is because I've got to convince an 11 year old to unload and Ashley you want to say hi attached at the hip with her iPad why aren't your friends available to play today because one of my friends are going somewhere I think with their mom and then they're I, my other friend has to go to gymnastics and my other friend has to go to baseball. I'm gonna do dishes. Chelsea, can you come and unload, please? Ah. <laughs> How did we know, Ashley, that she was gonna complain about that? She always does. But you did your bathroom yesterday, so and you're good. The, the door. Yes, but I have two things that I wanna do today that'll be kinda fun. We have charcoal, horticulture charcoal, coming in the mail today from Amazon for my daughter's little what do you call it, her little terrariums. But my friend gave me this tray for free the other day and dropped it off today. And I want to make this into it. 
Shh. You're talking over me. Um, my friend gave me this tray and I want to make it into a little planter. Kaylee has kind of inspired me to make plants and or to put to have plants around the house but I don't want to have to like put holes in the tray and the easiest way to, I think to do that is to put the um, charcoal in it with the rocks and do succulents and little plants so that I hopefully don't kill them and I can keep them here where they I, I can want... move this around because it's got the handle I can kind of keep it in my office when there's sunlight in my office but then if I need to move it to this little area get sunlight in the afternoon I can put it on the table and get it some sunlight, sunlight there <sighs> and then I'm going to show you there's a lot of talking going on but I also here can you move really quick my twin sister we are kind of funny I got this yesterday in the mail from my twin <laughs> sister this is the sister that had her house burned down and um, we should actually like, Aaron, if you're watching this, we should do an updated video in like a month, probably. Yeah, and watch She has a new roof. Before and after. Yeah, before and after video. If you haven't watched her fire video, I will put a link right here. It's her so fire. sad, her fire video. Her house burned down from her neighbor's house catching on fire, and it's getting remodeled right now, and she's living in a rental. And Chelsea, your little poppets. I, stop, Chelsea. Okay, let me just talk really quick and then you can unload or quietly start to unload. Anyway, but she has a new roof and she has the whole back side of her house is all new and, and uh, new wood and all that kind of. <laughs> Chelsea. Okay, we're going to come right back. She's going to do dishes. She's trying not to be quiet. I kind of am. You kind of are. Um, anyway, update on her house will come maybe in a month or two. Um, they're supposed to be done in two months, but even like new construction doesn't get done on time, let alone like from a fire and working with insurance. She sent me my Christmas present and my birthday present from December and January. And we are, have an open relationship <laughs> in that we don't get offended when we forget or don't have money or don't have time or whatever to mail a package in time for birthdays or Christmas or what whatnot. And sometimes, sometimes we're not really like inspired on what to give the person and that's okay. We've kind of agreed that like we'll do it in our own time and that it's actually funner to like get a surprise gift in like March. Even though I wrote this. Like March. It's March. No, it's not. It's April. <laughs> it's April. What am I thinking? Okay, so Erin got me this cute gift. Came in the mail yesterday. Look at that. All pretty much your favorite. Look at that. Movies. I know, it's fun. Okay, so I thought we would unbox her birthday gift slash Christmas gift slash whatever fun she, things she wanted to send me. As a gift. Yeah. So she sent me Mint Milano's. Fun fact, the Pepperidge Farm factory for the US is in my hometown Valley. It is actually, yeah, right up by Jared's house. Oh, I didn't even know that. So if you go to the factory, you can actually get their seconds. These Mint Milano's, I'm not kidding you. Come in a bag like this big of all the cookies that don't get like sandwiched like even, or I don't even care. Cause they come, still come like These with all perfect. the things on it. They're not perfect. Yeah, they're not perfect. And you can get an entire huge bag, like the size of a gallon of milk it's for like five. It's three times that. Yeah, for $5. This bag at the grocery store costs $4. So whenever we go home, we try and like go up there, but it's a hit and miss on whether you're gonna get the mint Milano's or not. So, taffies. Local Utah honey, which I actually don't have honey. We cleaned out our pantry pantry video clean out right here So that's really fun. I don't have any more honey and it's local to our valley <laughs> Then she sent me oh Aggie bars what are those? These are um, so they come from the bluebird uh, candy factory oh, there in town awesome. and um, We are Aggies. We went to Utah State and so that is why it's called the oh, Ag oh Aggie bar so we have a mint one and a milk chocolate one. So thank you, Erin. She knows I like chocolate. Okay, then the last thing she sent me was this, I'm assuming is a Utah shirt. Yep. And it better not be a Utes shirt because we are not Utes. So it's just, I think it's just the initials of Utah. I'm thrown off because the Utes colors are red and white. That's why I'm like, the buffalo check is throwing me off, but it's black. 
so that's not the Utes colors. Um, and then it says, "Will always Utah will always be home. And that's correct. I always say, when are we going home next? Because Utah is that's my home. That's why we do granddaughter days. We that's why we do granddaughter home. days. Yep, you're right, Chels. Yeah. We well, do. it's kind of annoying because we have like 20, over 20 girls in the family. Yeah, and, then, um, and, and there's kidding. not 20, well, yeah. no, there's not 20 girl grandkids. 20 girl grandkids. Yeah, yeah 20 girl grandkids. No, okay. there's not. There's 23 and a half grandkids. But also, more than I'm, half of them are girls. Is younger. that right? Did we yeah. figure that math out? Yeah, I think but so. I'm the you youngest. count every single girl, okay. including us. Anyway, I'm we're rambling. Youngest. But that was a fun gift to get from Aaron. Thank you. I opened it yesterday and I realized it would be fun. Oh. Chelsea. So <laughs> this is why I can't film like super cute and you know planned and staged videos anymore with these kids all home all day every day so you just get the random she's unloading the dishes behind me and I'm unpackaging a package so anyway Erin thank you for that fun surprise gift I kind of knew it was coming she asked me for my address but Erin it's been eight years how do you not have my address it's okay, I forgive you, because I got a gift in return. Okay, so Chelsea's gonna do her laundry. Also got a pair of shorts from Old Navy, or from Walmart yesterday. Put those in my laundry. Chelsea's going to finish her dishes so that I can finish mine. You guys, it is 12 o'clock and I haven't had breakfast. Okay. This is like the most real I can be on a morning, it's like possible. Ah, hands down. This is how my morning goes. I come down and I get so squirrel sidetracked with all these little things and I like all the little things being done before I like sit down to enjoy a meal. Because you know it's actually gonna get done. Yeah, so I know it actually gets done. Thank you very much, Chelsea. <laughs> little twit back here. I have to make sure it gets done. So, maybe I'll get lunch today, but maybe I'll just do, I, I don't even know what to eat now. It's 12 o'clock. <gasps> We can get Wendy's. It's 25 minutes away from us, Chelsea. Don't tempt me or I probably will. It's worth it. It's worth it. <laughs> All right, let's go get dishes done. It's worth it. Well, why don't you go get your dishes done and then we'll talk about it. Wendy's. Get your dishes done. <laughs> yes, I am. Kind of. <laughs> A little stink. All right, I have been on this computer or doing laundry or Anyway, I have I have a question for you guys, and maybe this just sucks getting older. I'm in my 40s, 43 to be exact, and I can no longer handle orange juice. Like my body rejects it. <laughs> like not in a good way. Little TMI. And I and then I had Laffy Taffy that my sister gave me. Those two don't go well together. <laughs> Not on the bowels. I have not wanted to leave the house all day when it's kind of cold. It actually never warmed up. Two, I just couldn't leave the house. So I just stayed here and edited and did laundry and. I should call the combination a shitty taffy and drool. <laughs> That's kind of how it was. <laughs> Um, yeah, it, so it was not a good day for me. I, so leave a comment below if you have, I don't know, some people like start to not be able to handle gluten and bread and dairy and those kinds of things. And I just can't handle, I don't know what it is, it's the vitamin the C, acid. the acid in orange juice. I don't know. So dad got us pizza, right? So there's that one. And then there should be breadsticks. Is that one breadsticks? Please tell me there's breadsticks. I don't know. Oh, they just did it in here. They barely cooked this one. Yep. So, that's dinner. Welcome home, Jason. I want this one. This is a pan pizza. I want this one. Uh, you don't get to make... What's the difference? Well, that's like the original <laughs> Pizza Hut pan pizza crust. And then the yeah. other one, you don't get to make the choice. They, you just have to have a regular crust. But I just remember the days of, like, getting my book it... Pan pizza. Did you ever have that, Jay? Book it. Remember book it back in elementary school where if you got your reading, if you read oh. a certain number of books, then, then you, you got to go and get, get a, a pizza, pizza hut. And they had a personal pan pizza and then you got breadsticks, like two breadsticks or something and then like a refill soda. I never for... read enough books to get it. <laughs> where are you? You didn't read enough books. 
Well, it looks like I was the intelligent child <laughs> that liked to read. Studious. <laughs> Studious would be the right word. Yeah, I'm intelligent. You're intelligent and you just have to watch documentaries. I don't know. But we're going to have dinner. And literally I have been doing laundry all day. I think the last load of towels just came out. And I realized, you know how I had that rug? That was my... <laughs> That's mine. What? I just I broke it apart for her. For me, I mean. You're not feeding your kids first? No, I'm actually not. <laughs> You're not? No. Just kicking the kids well, to I'm the, the curb? I am. Um, anyway, so when I was doing laundry today, Wait, and I've thought about this lately, I'm gonna take you in here. Okay, so this rug, I said I needed to wash, but you know what, Jace? I was standing on it, and. Oh, that's good. Here, wash this. <laughs> what, did it, what did it do? I just threw my jacket in there. I said, "Wash this." Oh, I was being rude and chauvinistic. Yeah. What? Um, if you watch my laundry video tomorrow, you'll understand that it, he's not being chauvinistic and telling me to do laundry. I don't let him do laundry. Anyway, I stood on that rug. It's Kaylee and Abby's bathroom rug, and I was like, "Dude, I need a rug in here." So I want to go and get one of these, either like that bathroom mat or one of these kitchen mats. Because every time I go in there and stand to do laundry, my feet are freezing and then they hurt because I'm standing there so long. Why don't we get like an industrial little, go to Office Depot and get, or Office Max or whatever, and get like a cashier's foam mat thing. Because the ones that cost go like that are only $10. Oh, all right. I mean, I, you want me to have a pimpin' stand on it all day long kind of a... No, your feet aren't like <laughs> I don't need a $50 rug to go in the laundry room. I need it to be like wipeable because the kids are going to be in and out and walking on it. It's not a small, a big enough area to have like to be totally out of the way for traffic. So anyway, we're going to sit down and eat pizza and see what else our day brings. But right, we're at the end of our day and you're going to get the teenager from, oh, Abby, can you grab my little slip-ons? Or my little, um, maybe, I don't know where they are. My little, like, house shoes, are they up there? Yeah. Um, so we're going to get Kaylee from her friend's house, and Abby's gonna join us. And I think Jason has to go to the post office. So we're two, leaving the two littles here for like, I don't know, maybe a half hour. I don't know, I say they're little. Chelsea's gonna be 11 and 18 days. So, not so little anymore, but I'm gonna leave this light on. Abby and I are mainly going because we just need to get out of the house and want somewhere to go. So, might just end our night here unless we do something super fabulous or have, I don't know if he brought the keys. I'll just bring my purse. But also doing something with Jason just for the fun of it. Oh, I can't do all this. One hand. All right, so we've been getting schooled on the, the song of Chicken Tendies, which Abby's like, it's too complicated. Anyway, non, I don't know, anticlimactic car ride to get Kaylee, correct? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I think we're going to call it a night and um, go to bed. So, Kevin? Yeah. Anyway. I'm not going to bed. No, I'm not going to bed. We're just going to end this video. Oh, great. Kaylee's had too much sugar now over at her friend's house. So, anyway, say goodnight. Where is he? Night. Hey, tomorrow, should we do our uh, vacuum video? Yes. We're going to clean like out our idea. vacuum and show you how we do it. A like Dyson. Dyson. Our Dyson. But we're really going to clean it out. Like... You gotta clean it. it. If you have had to buy, well, buying sucks. I know lining sex. If you, we did it for years where we would just buy like a decent priced vacuum, but honestly, they just break like every year, year and a half. If you yeah. just save up the money, it's worth getting a Dyson. Yeah. Because they last. We've had them now for like years and years. Years and years. And uh, and when Mar when ours gets a little bit older, then I give it to the store. And well, I get no, a new we one. We tried that. We tried that, but the new one wasn't quite this durable, so we switched them back. Oh yeah. But the other thing too, the only time they've ever broken is when we sucked up, we sucked up something and, and destroyed Broke the little it. roller. Yeah. So we just ordered the part, attached it back on, I fixed it. Because he's Mr. Mr. Handy. Mr. Phenomenal. 
Yep. Anyway, we'll see you guys next time and be on the lookout for a vacuum cleaning video. <laughs> you know? But I've been holding it out because I can do it any day. Vacuum but maintenance video. Vac vacuum maintenance. But it's fun to have his banter. And I like know, I'm just full of he makes stuff. he makes the video. I will say. Oh really? Wow. You you make the video. That kind of stuff. Like you, it's fun. And I don't want to clean out the vacuum by myself. <laughs> that truth comes out. Yes, that's the reality. Look, actually... he's putting away his like all on his own. I didn't ask him to put this away. <gasps> Shocker. <laughs> Do I get a gold star? No, you don't. <laughs> okay, take care, guys. Good night. Bye.